Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba. Welcome to this presentation. Today's point of discussion is how to reinforce, support, or brace roof palings. The main purpose of this is to prevent the paling sag and wobbling during and after roofing sheet placements. We are going to use steel rod to, to reinforce or to tie these palings to prevent wobbling during the roofing. Now, we'll go straight away and get started here. And go straight to applications and components right there. From here, if you're familiar with the, the numerical names of these macros, we'll just go straight away and type S54, S54 or, or uh, Sagrod. S54 and uh, being familiar with these numerical names of this macro is dependable is it yeah I mean depends on how frequently you use the particular structures now I'll click on that after clicking on that I'll now select the palings that I want to tie to prevent that sag or wobbling during the iron sheet placement now i'll go straight away and pick on each and every paling that i want to tie using that steel rod now after selecting all those all these five palings you go straight away and press your middle button on your mouse like that after doing that you right click and go to interrupt to to exit from that command and uh, if, you, if you're keen enough, you'll be able to see that your, f your first selection of palings, the moment you click your middle button on the mouse, it changes the appearance and color. It's now transparent and red to bring it back to its previous presentation or, uh, or, uh, or bring back its features. You just click on an empty screen like that and you'll be back where you are. Now, if you take a look here on the tie rods or uh, or these palin reinforcement rods you'll see they're uh, they're falling below the palin which is on right now we want to change that and also change this you're seeing here to do that just double click on the on the on the steel rod and you'll be taken back to to sacred properties where you you'll be you'll be able to change how these should be presented or should be arranged to tie up these palings now having double clicked on the on the tie rods what we are going to do is to work with these tabs these tabs provides various options on how to change Uh, I mean, how to change how the tie rods appear or reinforces the palings. Now we'll go straight on the pa on the on the picture first. You'll you'll be able to see the default arrangement, which is subject to change, or you can customize that. I'll go to parts. You'll see this from parts. Uh, you'll see sag rod, and from here you can change the size of this of uh, steel rod. After clicking this radio button here, then you'll be taken. The, the moment you click on that radio button, you'll be taken to uh, steel profile catalog here, and you will go straight away to circular sections where we'll go. We'll click that plus, and you'll be able to select and uh, change the size or the diameter of that steel rod. The moment you click on that, you'll be able to change the size from here. You can change this to, to 50 or whichever size that is standard and appropriate for tying the palings. I'll leave it at 50 because that is a default and uh, the purpose of this is just to show you how this is done. And uh, you can change this to, to diameter of a steel rod of your preference. Now I'll just go ahead and click apply and accept on the default now i'll go to parameters on the parameters 
you check down here the distance between the edge of this pollen in fact the tie rod is way below to an extent it offers no proper reinforcement or bracing or or tying these palings appropriately and to change that we'll come to distance from below the palin and we'll feed here a distance that is appropriate or will offset these pal uh, steel rod from the bottom of the palin to the midpoint of our palins now i'll go straight away and change this to 100 and this is dependable on the size of the palins so the offset dimension will be will change subject to the size of our palins now for now i'll give it 100 and i'll go ahead and click modify you'll see it, it has moved straight to the appropriate position and the, in this by default remain by uh, 200 and you, you can change that also even this you can change and also the arrangement of the tie rods is not appropriate i want to ch i want some kind of uniformity here now i want to change this and to change that i'll come on this side and pick on that i'll go straight away and click modify and this will be changed automatically and uh, from here you can see protrusion or an extension of, of steel rod here and we don't want that unless we want it we want this part protruding be threaded and be bolted and if we don't want to we don't want it to be bolted we want it just to be welded direct on the palin we can change this to zero change that to zero and go ahead and apply that so which means the steel rod will, will be welded straight or directly on the palings to avoid the wobbling or or the sag now having done that and uh, accepted or applied we can now close this and please take note that this ha is applicable or has to be populated to all the palins and prior to doing that we have to mirror this on the on the other side to make it easy for us when we populate there is some kind of uniformity for both sides of the roof now prior to doing that we have to change the orientation of of y of x y axis we'll go straight to view now from view here we'll go to work plane tool and uh, we'll go we'll pick work plane tool right there and this will bring will will uh, will bring it to a point that we will consider as our mirror mirror uh, mirror point i'll and click it there right click and go to interrupt to exit from that command now we want to use this point as our mirror point or mirror line to mirror this i'll go ahead and click select on that right click and come to copy special and go straight to mirror now if you take a look here on the, down on the command line we'll see pick first point on your mirror line and uh, we s we prefer this spot as our mirror line right here now i'll bring it a bit closer so that it so that we can invoke that mirror command now i want to pick on that spot and go down all the way down there and pick right there now you can see the angle is 90 and you can go straight away or we'll go straight away and click copy and wait for the result still loading and uh, right there we'll go and click ok and zoom closer here we are it has been mirrored on the other end now we want to populate this and prior to that you have to also take note on the direction of your x y axis we want to take it back to where, where it was or to its default position we'll come to work plane tool right there and take it back to the grid right there and right click go to interrupt to, to exit that command now we want to follow this we want to use we want to populate it along the y-axis we want to copy those these tie rod or anti-sag rods 
along the length of our of our portal frame. Now I'll go I'll go straight ahead and press Control and uh, select the other side. I'll go ahead and right click and come to Special Copy right here and come to Linear. Now on Linear we'll come to Y axis and feed six meters. We will use. Please note that uh, the uh, between column to column we have we have a six meter interval and and the, the same same dimension is what we will use to populate these uh, anti sag rod along the full length of our portal frame. Now I've fed here six meters. How many do you want? This will be dependable on the length or the interval dimensions in between the columns. So in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten. Now we'll feed here ten right there and go straight and click copy. Right there and go ahead and accept that. Now, if you zoom closer, you'll see that this has been populated in that direction. And note that we 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 skipped one uh, six meter interval. Now we want to do the same thing on the other side. We'll come to linear right there, but this time round we'll change this to one negative one. No, we we'll change this to one, but it will be negative six uh, six meters. Straight away, you will go ahead and click copy. Go ahead and click copy. Accept that. It, it hasn't. It hasn't. It has not responded. We'll go straight away and click linear. On the y-axis, we have on the y-axis uh, on on our initial uh, populating of the steel rod, we we used the positive direction of y, and now we want to use the negative direction of y. That's why I'm placing here negative six meter. Now, how many do you want? You want one? I made a mistake there. We want one, only one. We we'll go ahead and click copy. And accept that. Right click and, uh, and interrupt. Perfectly done. And you can also view this in a, in a plan view. And you can see that how this has been arranged. Perfect. We can switch back to our previous view and see this. Now double click on the screen and you can we can use we can use perspective view to view this more appropriate. I'll press control, control R, so that I can rotate this properly and see what we've done. That's all for today or for this presentation. Thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, let's meet on the next presentation and don't forget to watch more videos on more videos on civilmax.com. That's our new website where you can download whatever you want in engineering. Specifically for civil guys. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come and bye bye.